Hello boys and girls, what's up? It is Trigger here of course, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Radar Bro, uh, which is a pretty nifty little mod, and I'm going to be showing you guys it in the end of the video. So, um, we're going to go and get started. Um, as usual, please leave comments of any other tutorial videos you would like me to do. I'll be glad to do them for you. If you get lost at all in the video, please leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you. Um, but don't try to be civil about it, and I will be civil about it as well. Um, so with that said, um, just go ahead and open up the one link in the description and you'll be brought to the Radar Bro main forum page. So on the main forum page, uh, you can see a little picture at the top that just kind of tells you what it looks like. Go ahead and scroll down and we need to find the download section, which in my case is right here where it says download and then, these, and then this little link right here. So first of all, we need the download mod loader. So we're going to go open up the mod loader link, which is right here. I just highlighted. So I'm going to go and open it and we're just going to go and click this link. So go ahead and scroll down in the Resigamaz Mods forum. We're going to scroll down and find the uh, Mod Loader section, which in my case, uh, I'm going to be downloading the Mod Loader 1.4.6 version for Minecraft. Uh, this Keep in mind, this should work for any version of Minecraft, so it doesn't matter if it's 1.4.7. As long as the mod installation is still the same, it should always work for no matter what version of the Minecraft it is. That was a big mouthful. <laughs> so let's go and uh, hit the Download Add Fly link. Uh, click that. Of course, we are going to have to wait 5 seconds and sacrifice five seconds of our life, but unfortunately, we can't avoid it. So, just go ahead and skip the ad, and it'll begin downloading it. Mine automatically saves to my uh, downloads folder, but I highly recommend saving it to your desktop. It'll make the tutorial easier for you and myself. Uh, so go ahead and close this link. We don't need this anymore. Now we need to download the little drop box, which is right here. So go ahead and click it. And then it'll bring you to the another ad file link. Unfortunately, yet again, we'll have to wait five seconds of your life. I'm very sorry. Skip the ad and wouldn't you know it starts to download. You'll get two zips. We need to go and move these to our desktop or make sure you save them to your desktop. So go and show them folder. And go and close the internet. We don't need it anymore. And so I'm just going to go and move these both to my desktop and close this. So basically what you should have is Radar Bro and Mod Loader, both on your desktop. I hope so anyways. It makes the tutorial easier for you. Um, so now what we need to do is the bottom left here. We go and type percent app data percent. Just like that, go ahead and hit enter. Now you'll see a little folder in here called .minecraft. Open that up. And inside here you'll see a folder called bin. Open that up. Now inside here you're going to see a file called minecraft executable jar file or minecraft.jar, one of the two. Uh, right click that and open with WinRAR Archiver. Hit that. And the first thing is first, you're going to need to delete the meta inf which is right here. Right click it and delete files. Hit yes. Now, keep in mind, if you don't delete the meta inf, you're going to get stuck at the end of a loading screen and or have a black screen. So make sure you do that. It's pretty important. Open up Mod Loader off your desktop. Uh, Right-click it. Select all. Drag and drop it into your Minecraft.jar, like so. Hit OK. And go ahead and close the Mod Loader uh, folder. Open up Radar Bro off your desktop, wherever you saved that. Right-click. Select all. Drag and drop it into your Minecraft.jar, like so. Hit OK. Go ahead and close Minecraft.jar and close radarbro.zip or whatever or whatever these two were um, go ahead and close it and now of course I am going to be showing you guys that uh, it works and give you some video proof and of course uh, this is the first time I've tried installing it so I'm very positive that it's not going to mess up okay so obviously it didn't mess up so as usual we're going to go ahead and create a new world and show you guys that everything is working correctly um, so obviously there should be a radar, I'm assuming, in my GUI, so I don't really know how much more proof I can show. Okay, there's that big radar, and there's everything in the map. <laughs> okay, let's go see if we can actually find something uh, that's actually on the radar. So, um, let's get that out of the way. It says there's a sapling over here? Or, oh, I guess that means flower. Maybe I don't. I have no idea what that means. Um, let's go find something that's actually more noticeable on the map, such as a chest and a dungeon. It says there's tons of squids over there, which there's squids over there, but that's too easy. Um, chest over here. I'm trying to get to the chest before mobs spawn on it. This way, it's easier to find. I'm assuming it's right around here. So we'll go down to it through the tree. Up oh, there it is. So here's the chest, just as it said it would be, and that's very nifty. I did not know skeletons spawn with armor from spawners. Um, so yeah. As usual. Thank you guys for watching. Please write and subscribe, and if you have any troubles with the video, please leave a comment, and as usual, uh, please leave comments of any other video tutorials you would like me to do. Thanks for watching, guys.